Welcome to your weekly UAS news update, the place where you don't get your news two weeks late. And this week we have four stories. The first one is the FAA is starting to do UTM field test. And we'll talk about what that means and maybe a little bit about what UTM is. Uh, we'll show you some videos. You may have seen them of the Super Bowl drone show. Uh, that was a really cool uh, showing right there. We'll also talk about um, NDAA versus Blue SUAS. There are some manufacturers out there that are asking uh, well, you'll see what they're asking. It's kind of an interesting thing. And then lastly, we'll talk about a new course that we just published uh, last week. So let's get to it. All right, but before we get started with all of these topics, I want to talk about something that happened kind of last minute. This happened on uh, Wednesday night. The FAA administrator has uh, sent a memo to his team saying that he's going to resign. So this is FAA administrator Dixon. Uh, he's been in place for quite a while now. Uh, he is citing uh, that uh, his family, he wants to spend more time with his family as uh, the reason for leaving. Uh, he said it's time to go home now uh, after working on this full time and being away from his family for a long time. So um, the it's expected that the uh, deputy administrator right now, his name is Bradley Mims, is going to be the new uh, person in charge, a new FAA administrator. I'm sure there's going to be a process to uh, get this all finalized. This is a presidential appointment. So uh, kind of interesting. Uh, I, I think uh, there's been a lot of controversy at the FAA over the last uh, couple of months, possibly even year, especially with the 5G issues. And I'm sure that has uh, helped the current administrator to make this decision. So we'll keep you posted on uh, what we hear when and uh, more things change. And uh, at the moment, this doesn't change very much for you, but I thought that you should know that information. And the first story this week is the FAA announced on the 11th that they're going to be doing testing with UTM. UTM is the unmanned traffic management and they're going to test the capabilities of the UTM system. Now this is expected to begin in spring of this year of 2022. Um, UTM service is going to be something that's complementary to what we have now, which is called ATM, air traffic management. Now, if you want to know more information about uh, UTM, I'm going to put a link right here to a video that we did a couple, um, well, probably about a month ago, that explains, well, that explains UTM in details. I know it's a confusing area, uh, but the FA has a lot of information available out there. So we made a video that explains all this. I'm not going to really talk about This is pretty complex, by the way. UTM is a pretty complex thing. Um, a lot of it is a concept at the moment. So the FAA is trying to, well, go from the concept all the way to what's going to be the implementation. And the field testing is aimed at SUAS operations that are going to be below 400 feet. So we'll put a link down in the description to the article as well if you want to read some more. Uh, this is an article from the FAA uh, directly. Okay, the next thing this week is you may have seen it. This is a Super Bowl drone show. Uh, it happened four times. It happened once on Friday and it happened three times on Saturday. Unfortunately, they were not allowed to fly on Sunday because of the TFR. Uh, you can see the video playing in the background right here. I'm actually excited to say that uh, one of our good friends at Pilot Institute, uh, Casey Seelock, he's the main pilot for this uh, drone show. So uh, we'll have Casey actually on the Pixel drone show eventually to uh, talk to him about, well, what it takes to get a show like this. He has a team working with him. Uh, this is very exciting. So I hope you enjoy those, uh, those videos. Okay, the next thing this week, this is a really interesting story. And um, let's back out a little bit before we get in there. This is NDAA versus a blue SUAS. Now, NDAA is a, a compliance that certain drone manufacturers may have. And that means that they don't contain or they contain very little uh, foreign parts, especially Chinese parts in their drones. All right. And a couple of years ago, the FA came up with this thing called Blue SUAS, which is a lineup of a UAS that have been approved by the U.S. government to be used with the federal government. The problem is that list is, well, it's pretty small. It's pretty small, and the drones on that list have been criticized over time that, well, the capabilities are not that great, the price is pretty high, and they don't replace some of the other drones that are out there. Now, the, the turn this week is that two of the drone manufacturers, TerraView and Skyfish, uh, are petitioning Congress to actually remove the, S, the blue SUAS requirements. At the moment, government agencies that want to use drones have to f uh, pick from this blue SUAS list 
And what the, manuf what the manufacturers, these two manufacturers are saying is that, well, this list was um, never designed to be a gatekeeper for all federal government procurement. And this is uh, Bruce Myers, he's the TerraView CEO. And he's actually saying that it's actually stifling the competition at this stage. Now, these two manufacturers had apply with the uh, Defense and Innovation Unit, the DIU. And uh, the DIU told them that they couldn't evaluate their system because of lack of funding. So essentially what's happening is that you have manufacturers that can create NDA compliant drones that are not on the S-Blue UAS uh, list. And, um, and it's creating issues because now they can't compete. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with this. I kind of feel what these guys are saying is, uh, you know, hey, you know, we're not on this blue UAS list. Doesn't mean that our drone shouldn't be picked up to, uh, to be compliant because it is compliant with NDA. So again, we'll, uh, we'll keep you guys posted. All right, the last thing this week is we have a new course. This is our FPV course. Um, this course is designed to help you build a cinematic FPV drone. Now it's taught, not by me actually, this is the only course at Pilot Institute at the moment that is not taught by me. It's taught by Don, who's our FPV instructor. Uh, we also call him the, uh, the, the drone doctor because, well, uh, anytime there's an issue with any drone, anybody that we know always goes to Don to get it fixed. He, he's built hundreds of drones. He's been doing this for a very long time. And he shows you step by step how to actually build this FPV uh, drone that's going to create cinematic footage. So if you're interested, we'll put a link down in the description. Uh, go and purchase the course. It's, uh, it's actually a very small fee for what you get, but you get to build this awesome drone that flies uh, really, really well. So that's it. That's all we have this week. As always, like, subscribe, leave your comments. Uh, we actually leave the comments open in our videos and like other people uh, because we like to interact with you guys and we always love to hear what you have to say. So. That's it, I'll see you guys next week.